Good, Good morning. morning from Corona Island in the Philippines. I went to sleep super early last night, like at 9.30 because I wasn't feeling the greatest. And I've woken up this morning feeling better than I did last night or probably about the same as I have for the last few days. I was so worried last night that I wasn't gonna be up for what we have planned today, but having woken up, feeling better than last night, I know that I will be able to get through today and enjoy it. As for what we've got planned today, then we are gonna go island hopping in order to start us off. Though so we have breakfast included in our accommodation and today it was pancakes, they were light, they were fluffy, they were delicious. So we are ready to go. It's 5 p.m. and we've just got back to our hostel after our island hopping tour today. So we've been gone for about eight hours. We had initially signed up to do island hopping tour A, which would have cost us 900 pesos, so probably about 22, 23 dollars per person Canadian. But when we arrived, that we actually got up rated to that ultimate tour which should have cost 1500 pesos per person so we actually managed to save about 30 dollars on the tour that we ended up doing due to the nature of the tour we were popping in and out of the water with a fair amount of regularity and that's just not conducive to using our vlogging camera because it would get absolutely ruined. So that means we filmed on the GoPro, which does not have good sound quality. And so for that reason, we weren't really able to talk to you or update you. So we thought we'd take you through our day now. We got picked up and taken down to the harbor where we met up with the tour guide and the other tourists before we then hopped on a boat. stop of the day was at CYC Beach. We were able to do some snorkeling where we got our first taste of the coral and fish we were going to see the rest of the day as well as just chill on the beach. Next we went to Coral Gardens where we saw the most magnificent coral and fish of the whole day. There was so much coral and so many fish to take in. The coral was very colorful. We saw some that was a dusty rose, others were vibrant blue, and one was a lavender purple. They were also shaped so differently. Some looked like a human brain, others resembled a head of lettuce, but my personal favorite was the one that looked like a puffer ball. You know the squishy and spiky children's toy? The reef fish came in so many varieties. Some were a vibrant yellow, others were this oil slicked mix of blue, green, and purple. Some were just black, and others were almost a translucent pearly white.
third stop was a stone's throw away, and that's where we saw the bow of a shipwreck. This one happened to be of a Chinese fishing vessel, so there are a number of World War II Japanese military boats also around this area. We then headed to Twin Lagoon where we were served a fantastic lunch consisting of noodles, rice, pumpkin, eggplant, fish, crab, and chicken, all of which had been prepared on the boat. After that, we got to swim in and between the two lagoons. We were surrounded by large charcoal mountains with varying tones of green flora jutting up out of the blue and green water. This dramatic landscape continued on our way to and at our fifth stop called Green Lagoon. Again, we were able to see some fish and coral by snorkeling around. Our final stop of the day was Kayangan Lake. We had to climb up at least 150 stairs before we then descended about the same amount of stairs on the other side to reach the lake. The lake was the same beautiful turquoise color and was surrounded by the same flora laden mountains that we'd been introduced to earlier. It was a nice place to swim, it even had a small cave to explore, but there wasn't much to be seen by snorkeling. absolutely loved our island hopping tour. We've been on a couple snorkeling trips in other countries and I enjoyed this one the most by quite a long shot and I don't want to discredit the other snorkeling tours because it could be that one we got better at snorkeling. Two, I think that we had probably the best quality mask and snorkel that we've ever had and three, it just wasn't as crowded. So we were able to take our time at each of the locations. We didn't feel rushed, nor were there so many other people around and you weren't having to jostle for position at all. And for that reason, maybe that's why I felt like I was able to appreciate the coral and the fish so much more. I just feel like I was able to take in all the colors and the shapes and really let it all sink in. So I loved it. 
I agree. I think the fact that we took so much time at each stop really allowed us to explore in the way that we wanted to. To the point where, generally speaking, when we got back in the boat, we were satisfied. Whereas, certainly with other tours that we had done, then it felt very rushed. We only had maybe sort of 10 to 15 minutes in one spot before we then got called back to the boat immediately, and that would take a while as well. So, definitely this one had a benefit. While there were a lot of reef fish and a lot of coral, the only thing that I would say that is negative about what we saw is the fact that there's not kind of large marine creatures. In other places, then we were able to see turtles and rays and all of that kind of thing, which was spectacular. Whereas with this, then one may be a little bit disappointed to only be seeing reef fish. But Considering the abundance that we saw and just all of the different kind of underwater landscapes we got to experience, then this was really special. And the islands themselves are absolutely beautiful too. Like it's not just the coral and the fish, but it's the mountains that make up the island and then the greenery that's on them. It's just spectacular. Yeah. This is an absolutely beautiful place to be, and certainly by going on this tour, then we really got to see it at its best. And it's great because the weather really held out as well. The other great thing to this was also that they prepared lunch for us, and the food was superb. There was definitely more than enough for the number of people that were on the boat, which was probably about what, 10 of us? Yeah, it was a pretty small group tour. And so, yeah, it might seem that the cost seems a little bit high, but you are properly taken care of throughout. Just like that, we just finished dinner and we ended up getting two Filipino based specialties. So, you ordered a mocha. Yeah, I would describe it as a cross between a Pringles potato chip and a French fry. It's obviously in the shape of a potato chip, and they've taken a whole potato and just sliced it thinly, but it's not crispy like a potato chip. It's crispy on the outside and then soft on the inside, more like a wedge. It was really good. And I ended up getting a pork tapa rice ball. So it was a bed of rice and you had an egg on top, but what was in the middle was what is known as the empo, which is grilled pork belly, which is the Filipino speciality. Mix in a pickled ginger juice that kind of ended up coming in as a garnish. And honestly, it was divine. Wash that all down with a local beer and we were gone. But that is it for today. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.